now our Facebook login is done we have tested that we can log in through Facebook now we have to uh, see that in this project this is authorization intensive we have to keep testing whether the administrator is actually logged in or not for this we have to write an authorization filter that can be called whenever a sensitive function is called or whenever a sensitive action method is called and simultaneously we have also to add an administrator area so that the code for the administrator that remains in that uh, folder or that part of the solution explorer this will help us uh, make our code more readable and uh, maintain maintenance is also easier this is a very uh, nice concept of uh, MVC which is called the concept of area uh, okay uh, and this project will definitely be able to demonstrate how we can utilize this concept of area to uh, bind the administrators code into a folder in our project just confine it to a small folder and in case you want to add more areas your main controllers your main uh, action folders view folders they don't get clogged up I always believe that solution explorer should be kept as tidy as possible go into depth like create create nested folders but on top of this on, on top of it the solution explorer should appear very tidy very simple to see just like you see very complex websites there is a small menu but when you click on a menu you see a host of links so that is what I always believe in case of a, keeping the solution explorer simple and this concept of areas this comes very handy in this case so let us first of all start with writing the authorization filter come to solution explorer right click on the project and add a folder called filters it's not already there so we have to add it we are writing a custom filter here for that we will have to write a class right click on the folder add class and give it a name my auth attribute this attribute should be suffixed to your filter name because uh, we are going to use it as an attribute or as an annotation on our methods and uh, classes so it is customary to put attribute at the end of the name the name is my auth but we are suffixing it with attribute compiler knows that it will actually be able to interpret it just like uh, home controller and home they are interpreted by the compiler correctly so uh, the filter name is my auth but we are putting attribute suffixed to the end it's customary we should always do it click add this is our class this class has to come from action filter attribute action filter attribute we are inheriting from that class this colon should have been here right click and resolve most probably dot attribute I would check out should be this one HTTP filters no it's a mistake it should have been from the MVC one uh, right click it resolve it should be MVC and now we can write the code for authorization check here public override on action executing and uh, this we have to override so that it is checked before the action is executed and uh, we'll write the code here 